Well, the dominant birds, the by far the most advant advantageous place to be in a roosting flock is toward the middle and the little uh, up. And then we have famous uh, massive flocks like these murmurations they're called of starlings. And this is much more of a hive mind type of uh, You see these incredible videos of them swirling around and and uh, then they and they'll settle in. And a lot of these uh, lead, especially like this picture at, at dusk, uh, these lead to roosting uh, flocks. And there's advantages and disadvantages of roosting flocks. You have a huge concentration of birds that roost in one site, a patch of trees, or uh, they there's, they can root like chimney swifts and chimneys, and there but they'll settle in on a patch of vegetation. And there's it's an incredible show to watch where they stage in the air above the roosting site and they go to settle in. Well, the dominant birds. The, by far the most advant advantageous place to be in a roosting flock is toward the middle and the little uh, up. The up is so you don't get pooped on at night. But the uh, they, the safer you in the middle of the flock because if predators were come along, like a, a fox or a raccoon or whatever can get to that uh, the, the outer edges of that roosting flock, then the outside birds are more easily picked off and, and, and controlled and taken. So the, the ones in the middle of the, are the safest. And usually the older, more dominant birds that claim those. And they've been, they, they settle in eventually, and then they're, they're there for the night.